Laid back Mickey here with Marshall from Green Speed Trikes. And we are gonna go over what the newest things are with Green Speed, what's happening, and record setting trikes. Tell us more, what's going on with Green Speed? Well, yeah, what's going on with Green Speed? So, for 2023, lots and lots of new things. Okay, excited. Well, yeah, you should be. <laughs> so, to start off with, probably the most popular thing to talk about, Mickey, is electrification of trikes. Yeah. So we've been fielding this question from consumers, from dealers alike for the last year. And it's true, yes. We will have a Bosch option, Ooh, a boost kit yeah. for green speeds, <laughs> coming out in early 2023. Yeah. So that's nice. probably the most exciting news about it. But also note that there's gonna be a lot of new color changes. Doesn't oh, wow. sound like a lot, but the color choices for green speed over the last yeah. five years, have been unchanging. Stagnant. Get ready. The same. They're going to change. <laughs> They're going so, to be updated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to actually go right to the arrow. Yeah. That's probably one of the more exciting changes. You're going to see a multicolor arrow as yep. well as a new color scheme across it. So nice. that's pretty neat. Nice. Some of the new colors are already showing up behind us for the magnums. And Ooh, then there's some new colors nice. that we don't have here, but will be available in 2023 in the GT line. Sweet. So, that's another cool thing to talk about is those color changes. Nice. It's just going to excite customers, I yeah. think, and people should be excited to hear about that. The next thing that would yeah. be exciting to note, disc brakes. That's another change for 2023. So Sweet. You'll see disc brakes on the Magnums, and then you're going to see them on the GT as well. So for years, they came with the drum brakes. Yeah. You know, yeah. Which, which, you know, drum brakes last forever. But tell me, why, why disc over drum? Is there a benefit over one over the other? Um, are you going to have both choices or just one choice? So there'll just be one choice. Okay. And some of that is driven by the supply chain issues that we've dealt with over okay. the last couple of years. Yeah, so disc so, brakes are on all mountain bikes, everything nowadays, yeah, right? Yeah, across the platform of yeah. bikes. So, so they're more accessible. Easier yeah. for shops to set up. Yeah. Uh, there are shops that aren't familiar with drum brakes. Yeah. And especially for those bike shops that are primarily just that bike shops and not recumbent shops oh, like yeah. yourself, Mickey. Yeah. They may not be as educated as you with how to set up a drum brake. Yeah. So I think it's easier for them as well. And then just yeah. the replacement parts. So, but you asked about the performance piece of it yeah. too, I think. So finding brake pads and those sorts of things as yeah. they become wear items, yeah. much better accessibility and availability with the disc brakes. Nice. Also will allow us to go hydraulic at some point, okay. should we choose to go down that which is great for the customers because it just takes less yeah. effort to modulate. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's nice and smooth. And so let's go back to the uh, motorized uh, trikes that will, people that already have like uh, this newer generation of green speeds within the last five years, will they be able to get a, like a mid drive motor like by Bosch for, for their trike? with the square boom, it, tell me. Yeah, who's how's that gonna, gonna work? Is who, it gonna be retrofitable? Yeah. Yeah, the truth of that is anybody that has a Magnum yeah. will have that ability. Yeah. People that have GTs won't. Okay. Even though they're both square, they're different, uh, can I use the word diameters? Yep. They're a different shape. They're okay. not exactly square. So in other words, the GT boom doesn't fit in the Magnum and vice versa. Yeah. So okay. what we're doing is we're going to make them universal. So yeah. they'll have the same size booms, yeah. and they'll be the same size as the current Magnums. Okay, nice. So if you have a Magnum, you can retrofit it with a motor, and then if you have, if you're buying a new uh, Green Speed GT, you yeah. can actually get it with a motor now. So it, does that mean that the the diameter of the new the new GTs coming out is gonna be the same as the Magnum? Yeah, that will happen in time in future okay. POs. That okay, so, so that, that will happen, so like maybe before summer of uh, 2023? Say, yeah, that'd be correct. Yeah, yeah. so that, that'll be pretty cool. Green Speed was purchased by Teratrike, which is the world's largest manufacturer of trikes, and which Teratrike makes a ton of trikes with Bosch on it. Like, like yeah. it can get Bosch on all their trikes. Green Speed now being a division of Wizwills, do you think that all trikes, including the Arrow, will be able to get a trike? No, or? no, no. no. <laughs> and that's, that's a good thing though to yeah. bring up. I, I think maybe one of the differences between the two brands, yeah. under that Wizwill umbrella, yeah. Teratrike Green Speed, one thing that's gonna be very true about Green Speed is it's always going to be very, 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 purpose built. Yeah. 
you know, with the yeah. design intent. Yeah. And so to that, and being true to that, unfortunately, I, I never see the arrow going yeah. with the motor. Yeah. It'll always be analog. It'll always be human power. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's lightweight and it's for speed. Uh, tell us about the speed and has it ever broken any records? So pretty cool <laughs> opportunity. Um, we were speaking earlier off the camera uh, about my first experience with the Arrow. It was kind of neat because it was while well, Ian Sims was still alive yeah. and uh, got to be handed one, you know, here, go ride this for me in and take yeah. it out of the parking lot and right away go, yeah, this is really a fast trike yeah. outside of our ownership. But it was yeah. something that really caught my attention. Yeah. So now that it's ours and having ridden it a lot and seeing a fair amount of activity on social media and stuff about people breaking world records at various distances with other existing trikes. Yeah. I kind of had this idea that I would go chase some of those records with an arrow because I, I just... It's, well, you, are, you being the young buck that you are, <laughs> you know, I know that, you know, in 20 something you, uh, yeah, that's, it's easy. You're, you, you, you know, you're young, you're fit. In fair disclosure, yeah, you know, I think it's kind of neat at the young age of 65 to be able to go what? out and chase some world record still yeah, yeah it was kind of a very unique opportunity and so and you chased it did you catch it that's a question yeah so one ride 12 hours long myself and a really nice yeah. team of people from terror trike nice. went out and said okay there's a lot that goes into this but we set it out on the day to set seven records on it and we took down the six hour road record yeah. the 12 hour road record and then the 100 kilometer 200 kilometer, 300 kilometer, wow. 100 mile, and 200 mile records on the Green Speed Arrow. So the Green Speed Arrow oh now owns all those world records. And yeah, that's a really. I, neat I knew it was a fast trike. I didn't know how fast you were, well, but I knew the trike was fast. So does that tell you how fast it is if I can do it? Yeah, yeah. Because you can I mean, do you're going to be the next. Fast. Yeah. Nikki, you know, yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm working on my weight. I, I, if I shed another 20 plus pounds, I think I might try to go You'll after be a one. Contender. Of, I'm going to go after one of your records. I'm probably going to have to use this trike. But I will say, yeah, truly uh, unique because, again, just 100% stock, too. Yeah. No real changes to the uh, yeah. arrow. Except for yeah. these cool grips that you have yeah. uh, that, that are on there. <laughs> yeah, we can talk about this. I mean, it's really neat. Uh, uh, Carbon Tech Company, it's a form of 3D printing, some new grips on there. And I did use those for the ride, too. Oh, wow. Yeah. Do you, will you be able to get uh, these new grips for anything in the future? Yeah, like, I see these coming online probably sometime mid-23. Okay. They're still in the prototype stage. Yeah. Um, but we're close. So, so I like that, prototype stage. So what, that, what I'm hearing is that Green Speed is still designing futuristic stuff. You guys are still trying to be relevant and future focused on where Ian Sims was taking it. You guys are still going like, this is where he took it and let's take it to the next level. Yeah, we don't want to become stagnant with the green speed light. Yeah. And there's certain things that are kind of baked into all the trikes that Ian designed. And, and we want to just continue using some of those design cues and take it a step further. I think at this time we can say, there will be a new trike in 2023 yeah. uh, for Greenspeed. It's kind of had a code name. It's, it's been used before yeah. out there. And uh, whether it's actually called the Wombat or the Woodchuck <laughs> is yet to be determined. The Woodchuck. Yeah. So that, well, what you're saying is there's more stuff to come. Absolutely. Yeah. More stuff to come. And across several platforms, like we don't have to talk about just, you know, the rubber and stuff. Yeah. But I would say one of the reasons that I think the world records, I don't want to say it was easy. It wasn't easy, Mickey, but... Yeah. One of the things that contribute to that record-setting ride would be the efficiency of literally the, the rubber that's on that trike, yeah. which is the Scorcher tires, which is another product yeah. that Ian designed. Ian Sims, the founder of Greenspeed, designed his own tire to be fast, the yeah. Scorcher. And it was fast, so fast that Marshall just, how many records again? Seven. Seven, just yeah. broke seven world records. So. Yeah. That's pretty amazing, and, and Greenspeed is moving forward with its technology. Whether it's rubber, rubber, whether it's a new trike, whether it's improvement, just like the braking system, things like yeah. that. Yeah, absolutely going to keep Grips. Evolve the brand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, that's pretty exciting. I have always loved Greenspeed. You know, I, the, my first two brands that I started carrying in, in my shop 
was Terratrike and Greenspeed. Oh, and wow. the two great partnerships. And I love the innovation that you guys have been taking. I love that you're looking forward to the future. Like, where are we going in comfort? Where are we going in speed? Where are we going yeah. in adventure? I mean, this stuff is fun and I love it. Yeah, yeah. It, it is cool. The brand is going to continue yeah. to evolve. All those yeah. things, Mickey. And keep that Ian Sims engineering uh, spirit alive within the brand. Oh. Really important to us. I love it. If you'd like to know more about Green Speed Trikes, subscribe to this channel.